Hello YouTube chess lovers and my friends this is Gunjan here welcome to the 42nd episode of dirty chess tricks since the chess evolution if there is one opening which consistently played from beginner to master level then it has to be italian game due to the berlin wall nowadays many good players are switching from royal opus to italian game and it has been frequently appearing in tournament practice from both the colors now during this episode i'm going to demonstrate a tricky line in the modern italian game against one of the most popular setup by black the opening arises after the following order e4 e5 knight to f3 knight to c6 bishop to c4 and now the italian game appears with bishop to c5 okay the line continues with c3 so if allowed then white will definitely play the move d4 so accordingly black do the counter attack with knight to f6 and white can play d4 and enter into the greco's attack but the modern italian game continues with d3 where white aim for the slow positional play now as i've highlighted over here black has tried numerous moves but the move which we are going to concentrate in this video is d5 this is one of the most popular choice by black and in fact in online database there are more than 700 games played from this position so as a white you should know exactly why d5 is a turnout is a big time disaster here white should obviously capture this pawn and after knight captures d5 here comes the move which is a complete refutation of this line and that is queen to b3 so we are attacking the d5 knight and as you can see black has plenty of choices but neither of them give any surviving chances let's see each by turn the first move i want to consider is the c knight move so let's say if knight goes to the a5 which looks very natural attacking two spots but after queen to b5 black is going to lose his dark square bishop and in fact there is hardly any compensation for it well same goes if the c knight go to the e7 which also looks great because it's supporting the knight but this leads to the same problem yup you guessed it it's very easy queen to b5 check and the dark square bishop disappear from the board very quickly okay then well how about if black try to support the knight with the bishop let's say bishop to e6 this is again a big time mistake by black and the easiest refutation is here you can take this loose pawn on b7 with the queen once again the c6 knight hangs and it cannot move because then white can deliver the check and nab the dark square bishop so accordingly black has the only reply in this position and that is knight d to e7 supporting the c6 knight but unfortunately this allows the following transition bishop captures e6 pawn captures e6 and now simple castle on the king side <laughs> and not only black has a horrible horrible pawn structure all around the board but white emerged with an extra pawn in fact i have reached this position in a blitz game against a 2000 rated opponent and i just like to illustrate how easy this position is to play as a white here my opponent continue with rook to b8 attacking the queen i played queen to a6 defending my extra pawn on d3 my opponent keep harassing my queen with rook to b6 and i calmly play queen to c4 attacking the bishop attacking the e6 pawn so black response is force black has to play queen to d5 saving both the threat but now white take the in charge of the game and start creating the threats knight to g5 attacking on e6 black played knight to d8 defending another attacking move b4 hitting the bishop bishop drop back to d6 bishop to e3 attacking the rook 
and I think my opponent was already fed up with his position and he continued with rook to b8 which turned out as another big mistake as after the simple move bishop captures a7 white obtained two pawn advantage and those are distant passer which are not easy to stop after few moves white easily convert the full point okay then let's see what happen if black try to move the d knight the first move i want to consider is knight to b6 well it is very obvious that when the d knight moves the f7 pawn hangs and we are more than happy to take it as black king will be completely misplaced he cannot come to e7 because of the simple bishop to g5 check and black loses the queen so the only safe spot for the black king is to play king to f8 but after this white has the another lethal reply bishop to h5 so threatening queen to f7 checkmate if black defend either way let's say queen to e7 then white can play the move h3 and in this variation not only white save his bishop and able to misplace the black king but white also emerge with an extra pawn so probably the most critical response here is g6 which at first sight looks so scary as it trap our light square bishop but in fact tactically this is justify before i move on i like you to pause this video and find out a continuation where actually you can safeguard your light square bishop well let's see did you find it the variation start with bishop to h6 check king to e8 knight to g5 threatening queen f7 checkmate and any black moves which save the mate let's say queen to f6 now white can calmly retrieve the bishop back to f3 and in all these lines not only black king has been misplaced but white emerged with an extra pawn here i think the best choice for the black is to play knight to f6 allowing bishop captures f7 and after king to f8 at least black has stopped the move bishop to h5 now if you run this position in the engine then he will suggest that queen to d1 is a best reply and in fact there is a game in the database between 22600 plus rated opponent where white get a winning position and in fact convert the full point so i have attached that game in the pgn so you might want to check out if you are interested in queen to d1 variation However, my recommendation here is to play this simple move bishop to c4 giving back the pawn but in return get a very comfortable position. Well, the accurate response from the black goes like this, knight to a5 attacking two piece. Kindly note queen to b5 doesn't work here because of the simple move b6. So instead of that, white should play the move queen to c2. which is in fact the better move and after this the sequence goes as follows knight capture c4 pawn capture c4 e4 knight to d4 bishop captures d4 pawn captures d4 and now by force black is getting his pawn back with queen captures d4 but after the move castle it's okay that black get his material back but the few things if you carefully check it out that black king is misplaced there is a weak isolated pawn on the e4 square and as i have highlighted over here very simple and effective plan of campaign from the white which gives him a very active game if you still don't like this then check it out the queen to d1 line finally at this position the highest played move is castle on the king side which at first sight looks so rubbish because white can simply grab a piece right yes indeed but black's idea is after knight to a5 he get his piece back and also create a nasty trap first of all let me show you what white needs to avoid as this is happening few games 
White played the obvious move, queen to b5, which attacking two spots. But in fact, it is just an illusion as black can simply recapture the piece and white queen cannot even touch this knight because of, yup, bishop f2 and your queen is a goner. So kindly don't fall for this. Also, the another attractive move is bishop to f7 and wins a pawn. But in fact, in this position, if I tell you that white can maintain his extra piece, then you will be amazed, right? Yup, it is true. And before I proceed, I like you to pause this video and find out a continuation where white emerged with an extra piece. Okay, the continuation start with the star move, queen to d1. Well, black doesn't have any good choice. He has to take this bishop, otherwise he will be the piece down. So queen captures d5, what else? And now comes b4, attacking two piece. And after this, the base continuation goes as follows. e4, counter-attacking the knight. White will more than happy to take this pawn. And after queen captures e4, of course you don't want to play king to f1 due to the bishop to g4 and black has some compensation but instead of that, the strong move, queen to e2 and it doesn't matter however black plays, he is going to lose a piece. If queen exchange, then obviously this is benefit to the white. The other move, rook to e8, doesn't threaten anything as after queen captures, rook captures, king to f1, it is clear that black is going to lose a piece and the best thing black can do over here is bishop captures b4, pawn captures b4, rook captures b4 and after the whole transaction, white emerged with a piece for a two pawn and any professional chess player knows very well that practically with some good play, this is a winning position for the white. That's it guys. I hope you enjoy and learn this tricky line in the modern Italian game. After queen to b3, it doesn't matter however black responds. If you know this variation very well, then definitely you have a chance to obtain a full point in the tournament. Thank you for watching this. Feel free to write, subscribe and comment on this video and I'll meet you in my next episode very soon. Bye and take care.